Hey photographers, do you need to pee? Here's a comment I received from viewer Sabergo1. They would love to see a specific tutorial video on just the P mode since I'm learning in reverse from auto to manual. That actually sounds like the right approach to me. It's manual that's the most complicated. And let me trot out my humorous aside on manual. So a novice photographer asked me, I'd like to learn manual mode so I can take full advantage of my camera. Well, my reply to that is, the auto modes take full advantage of the camera, setting exposure, focus, white balance, and so on, enabling you to concentrate on the things the camera can't do, composition and timing. When you use manual mode, the camera is taking advantage of you. Well, there is, however, one distinction to make. Auto mode may not take full advantage of the camera. Often, manufacturers limit the functionality of the full auto mode. Maybe you can't set the focus point, adjust the white balance, or you can only save images in JPEG and not RAW format. And you may also find that auto mode dims some menu settings or features, and as a result, they're not available. And that is where you might prefer the P mode setting. Now, most cameras have a mode dial and P will be one of the positions on the dial. You'll see a Sony camera in the demo screens, but with very minor variations, you'll find the same features on most cameras, DSLR and mirrorless. Now, because the comment was about a Fujifilm camera video, I should point out that Fujifilm can be the odd camera out, as many models don't have a mode dial. Instead, mode is selected by setting shutter and aperture to the A positions. So, on screen in the upper left, P, which stands for program. Program mode lets the camera's computer control both the aperture and shutter duration. It's like combining A, aperture priority, and S, shutter priority, into a single mode. So that's two thirds of the exposure settings. ISO, which is controlled by the full auto setting, is independent in P mode, but ISO usually also has its own auto setting. So. I don't often use the P setting, but when I do, it's for very general purpose images. I mostly use aperture priority, A, upper left, to adjust the aperture when I want to control the amount of background defocus. When I adjust from F4 at the bottom of the screen to F11, more of the scene is in focus. Or I use shutter priority when I want to control the shutter duration, usually to freeze fast-moving subjects, but sometimes to blur movement, waterfalls, pedestrians, <laughs> that kind of thing. So when program mode doesn't provide the results you want, switch to A or S. But don't overlook the two features of program mode that enable you to manage the way it sets exposure. By adjusting the exposure value setting using one of your camera's dials, you'll see the compensation display here, the plus minus at the bottom of the screen, and you can override the automated exposure by making an adjustment that brightens or darkens the image. The zero setting is uh, properly exposed. Now, exposure compensation does have some limitations as it is not a fourth exposure control. Rather, it adjusts either the aperture or shutter duration to create the change you want. So here, as I increase the compensation, the aperture opens, when I decrease it, the shutter duration gets shorter. So even though your camera's exposure compensation control may promise five stops, they are not always all available, depending on your lens and shutter duration capabilities. And many cameras also have a program shift feature. While in program mode, turning another dial will change from P to P with an asterisk. Program shift provides alternate aperture and shutter durations that will provide the same exposure result. You'll see the settings change when you make the adjustment. A smaller F number will defocus the background. A larger shutter number will freeze motion. <laughs> Again, adjustments will be limited. Now there is one more setting worth mentioning. 
all of the camera's auto exposure adjustments are made by referencing the current exposure meter mode. Now that's usually a setting you'll find in the menu. Sony provides quick access using the fun menu. I've been using center for this scene. And on Fujifilm cameras, this is called photometry. <laughs> uh, by default, you will usually select general purpose settings like multi, sometimes called matrix. But if you want to direct the exposure to a specific area of the scene, it's usually possible to select an area. Incidentally, subject detection capabilities usually combine focus and exposure, and some cameras can interconnect the focus and exposure area selection. That's all I have. But, of course, if you have civil comments or relevant questions, I will reply to all. Thanks for watching today. Stay safe.